in my feelings. Why are you in your feelings? Y'all in y'all feelings, I'm in mine too. Niggas in their feelings. But I'm in my feelings because as an educator, they trying to make me go back to work with the uh, pandemic going on. School shit, huh? So I already know the parents, they be out like everybody else. First of all, at I'm Club a, Wodies. I'm a parent, first of all. Y'all, Very you be parent. out. Every, parents all in here. Y'all don't know where I've been. Y'all don't know where they've been. And then y'all going to bring that to my classroom and make us sit in it and bask in it. And first of all, as a parent, I feel the exact opposite way. I don't know about y'all. What? Well, good. No, and pop, that's the I thing. I don't know how y'all rocking. Exactly. Y'all coming in here spreading the corona to my child. Exactly. So my point. At the end of the day, it goes hand in hand. It does. And at, 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 at this point, the way the way shit been gone, I just don't feel that that shit's safe. It's not. Think about it like this. This is kids. March thirteenth, I believe. At the end of March, um, we didn't know that much about corona. For what we do know, a lot of people weren't infected at that time or it was just starting to spread and they stopped us from going to school. Now right. we know for a fact this shit is 10 times worse. And it's like, right. but y'all could go back though. Like what? Yeah, that's dumb. That's dumb. It's dumb. Like, my, whole, my, my thing is like, it, it, it really don't make no sense to me. Like, I don't understand. Like, okay, so if we come in contact with somebody, we're supposed to quarantine for 14 days. Mm-hmm. But... We don't know who these kids been in contact with. We don't know who this teacher been in contact with. Fine. So one of the kids comes to school and they are sick. One of the kids come to school and get tested positive for corona. So now does just their class have to be quarantined? It can't be just my class because if you think of... But that's what they were saying. Like, so kids... my, My kids don't switch rooms. But, like, you know the kids that switch teachers? They were just saying the kids will stay in one classroom the whole time. And the teachers will move in and out. As if that's not the same thing. That's the same thing. But did you hear, did y'all hear the, the shit that just came out? I think it was the Washington Post. They said what? that they said that they was going to release black kids into schools first before they start releasing the white kids. Right. I just read that two days. I read that and it was something, <laughs> somebody said that and they were like, no, they just said the kids who are able to have like distant learning, who, who have access to computers and stuff, that's the people who stay home. And then the people who don't, which at least in my my area would be the black inner my city heart. kids, that's what they were saying. But either way, I'm like, it's still fucked up because it's like, who are we going to sacrifice? If you think about it, there have been no big gatherings since what, March? But y'all No, no, no. The black 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 lives matter movements is okay. still been going. Okay, okay, that. That they still been having oh, no, protests. That. That. No, but I'm saying there's no in, institutionalized gathering. Like the school school openings yeah, are about the legally. first yeah, thing. Talking about legally right. As far as- and it's almost like a concert. And there's no way like kids are going not interact with other kids for example in my school when they get off the bus they're not separated by grades or rooms or teachers yeah, they just whoever sign, to the like bus. there's no way it can be controlled which is why one so, i think it's a perfect so time is, for us teachers to go on strike but this is the dumbest this is the dumbest part about that whole thing to me all right hmm. y'all are, are making these decisions for kids to go back to school on zoom call right Exactly, I said that too. So like, y'all, you, y'all you are telling us to, to con- right, congregate, and yeah. y'all are still at home. You're not even in your office, but you want all these kids to go back to school, right? And then, and then when, when these kids get sick, who's gonna pay those bills? When these teachers get sick, are, are we up? In, teachers are already severely underpaid. Are we up in we their salaries? The that they're taking, like, are we like? If we not doing none of that, like, this is all ridiculous to me. But like, there I, is no, there's nothing about it that I feel as a teacher makes sense. But as the end of, I done said this shit over and over, and I'm just going to keep repeating it. It's just, I feel like it's levels to this shit, because at the end of the day, I always felt like it was always smarter for us to homeschool our kids. But I understand the the being around your, like, environmental shit, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You're social up, skills. Yeah, your social skills, pretty much. But at the end of the day, I feel like households should be set up to where that's your main learning source. Right, and, and I the agree. End the day, the end, at the end of the day, just let me get this out. Mm-hmm. The, the school system that we've been 
that's been implemented for us, to us, throughout the public school system has been the same systematic oppression right. mindset thinking that's been right. getting drilled into us all of these years. At the end of the day, we're going to keep getting taught mm -hmm. and being taught to be an employee, to be mm -hmm. not the employer. We're about to work for somebody. That's what school teaches us. Right. Learn what we give you. Go to college, work for somebody, grind, 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 get these loans, pay these people. This is America. This is how this works. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, that ain't how shit go. At the end of the day, so that, ain't, that ain't that ain't the I'm only on out for our that. kids. Hmm? I'm on I'm on I'm on the fence about this for, for this typical reason. Yes, if I homeschool my son, he gonna come out all right. But it's a whole lot of people I was about that, to say that that are not equipped. Homeschool, but that's why I'm telling you. That's why I said from the initial, there's levels to it. Because at the end of the day, right. it still it still depends on resources. At the end of the day, the the child can only have the the right resources if the parents do. Right. The parents have to have the right the, the resources to be able to feed to the to and, the kids. And, and that's the thing. That's why. That's why it's a. That's why you know it, it's a catch twenty two almost. Like we yeah. gotta. We said we gotta fight through it. it. We gotta yeah, fight through this to shit. In order to implement those types of changes, we got to have the right people on board to, to first educate the adults. Because a lot of teachers are spend half of the day just reprogramming or getting the kids out of everything they're experiencing at home. Mm -hmm. So for them, school is a release. So it's hard to say, you know, what's going to be in the best interest long term. But as of right now, I could definitely say these no like. Like it's, it's, we, it's know would be the, we know would be the best term, dog. We just, we just sacrifice, you know what I'm saying? And at My, the end of the day, the teachers that, that do got to deal with the shit that we're not willing to because of what we subjected to, they got to right. be compensated way more. And right. we realize yeah, that shit that, right now that, to the full extent, dog. Straight up. That, My that, thing I is, that 100%. parent, at least for the lower kids, y'all know I teach younger kids, like, while some of them can get on and they... I guess are mature enough and responsible enough as a first grader to know, all right, I got to wake up at this time and get on. I need parents to realize that with the little kid, it's not like the older ones. They they may not do that. Right. Right? So it's, it's basically tough. being that's responsible. That parent, that parent that you're talking about, the one that's not going to do it, and, and it's not going to sound bad. The fact of the matter is that parent sees their kid going to school as break time for them. Right. Exactly. No, you're right. So that don't that's not going to change. Their way of thinking is not going to change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I needed to because... But Jazz, that's <laughs> asking a lot. That's asking a lot. That's like us feeling like we want you to teach something different. Or be more passionate about a job that you feel like, how much more passionate that can I right. be? Right. I, I, I can't... I put in... What fifty percent? So the child what, puts in ten, and the parent got to be the other forty. So but if it. I'm only doing fifty, and there's nothing from the other side, then and multiply that times how many? Thirty-one. So you, right, you you can right. see. You but can I, see what I've been wanting to pimp slap people because you know teachers we got out got out early. Um, it I guess it depends on where you were where you teach. Some people I was still teaching. Some parents, I mean, some teachers just had to call and check on the kids. Like there was no more lesson. But Man, um, let's just be real. That shit ain't about to work. Virtual, it can. Virtual school is not about to work. And I'm not gonna say that because my kids still were learning. We but were having Jazz, fun. What I'm trying to tell you is that's why. That's, that's, but that's what I've been trying to tell you though. I respect you because you're passionate. You're not about to just waste your time. At the end of the day, your your main lessons of the day is discipline. Because you get them to truly buy into what it is. The information come late. The, the information come right. next. Right. You get them to buy into you first. Right. And you then, saying I can't do that over then, the computer. Yeah. If no, it you is. can. You can. That's why you feel like it does. But at the end of the day, it's about the the age bracket that you're dealing with. Right. You're dealing with a, with fucking sponges at the at the highest power right now. Fucking little kids. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, all they want to see is what's comical. I like my teacher. She pretty. She makes shit fun. Fuck it. My mom and them telling don't, me, okay, I got school fuck today. Fuck, fuck it. Now. But at the end of the day, nigga, you think a nigga in high school about to be listening to Miss fucking Rose sitting at a computer all fucking day? Right, and it, it oh, all okay. boils like, down to here, holding them accountable. And we're in a fucked up we in a fucked up state right now, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's this shit's scary. I like I, I feel so many different ways, like about all of this shit, because I feel like all of this should be intertwined. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't spend 
every show talking about all the deep dives that I feel about all of these topics, my nigga, because I feel deeply about all of this shit. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is so and different. Well, everything's well, just uncertain now, right, now, right now, that. too. Say it again, Gary. Don't forget to write your, your deep dives down. Now, you got to start writing. I got everything written down. That's how I operate. So, yes, y'all. <laughs> that's how I operate. So, a couple I of shows ago. A couple of shows ago, we did talk about the vaccine and if we would be willing to be test dummies. And how much we would need to be compensated if we were uh, right. going to be a test tester person. Like the trial thing. So, oh how mean, you feeling at, now? At this point, I'm feeling like I, what's the, how much we said? We just saying if you would do it first. But no, we came up with a number on how much we would put on the table. A, a, my, num- a, a my number was right. a life changing number. What's it? So, all right, so yeah, that's what we can. So you right. saying you would, what, which means about. in what's reality so you wouldn't life, do so it. What's your life changing number then? I forgot. It would have to. It would have to be. A, I, I'm gonna say ten. Who coughing? A nigga in the back. Oh, it's time to evacuate. That nigga that, who is that right? called? Oh, you see, that's why I ain't got nothing. I'm about to go. I need to put my mask on. Oh, what? Yeah, you, oh, oh. Go ahead. So a number. So we all agree that we wouldn't do it for free. Like, we're just not about to be that person. Oh, no, a nigga not about to just be no test dummy. So that's why I said that's why None of us are going to no, be test that's dummies. That's no to the vaccine. Like, that's what we're talking about. No how much would you need to get the vaccine? How much? So how much they, how much they paying for me to get the vaccine? To? How much would you need? How much would I need ten million. Ten million. I kept pondering about this shit. The vaccine. And that's not even a realistic number. So I'm you lying. know you're not I'm doing lying. that. I don't need I'm ten million. Give I'm me lying. fucking I'll give me give million. me a million dollars. I'll take that bitch for give a million dollars right I'll now. I'll take one. Because I'll make it happen. I'll I'm make it happen. Well, you know they say the even men. Even if I'm about to die within forty five days, I'm about to set it up to where that bitch about to keep working. Yeah. Well that's good. My little Period. It's never going to happen. <laughs> Period. But y'all not doing it for free. Nah, a million dollars. No, no, no. Ain't no free. I, right I, I wouldn't. You know the- and y'all have kids. I'm like, I still have to have kids. Like, Two what million? if my children come out green or something? 400, 400 real. 400 what? 400,000. No. 4 million. How much you need, Jack? I don't even, I, I honestly don't even know if I would do it. Cause I don't want my child to come out with a foot, like Wait, some kind of. I don't know how many kids is being born right now. Some kind of defect, yeah, but none of them have been injected with a vaccine. We don't know. That's true. I was low key fussed at by we one of my know. doctor friends because I got an antibody test and he was asking me doctor questions and I'm like I don't know they just took my blood and he was like you need to watch what they taking your blood for. See. It's too That's scary. True. I'm about so to move. What I'm saying is, all the babies so have been born. So in the big scheme of things, we all the test dummies anyway. So I might as well get paid for it. I mean, we haven't heard the news of do babies I, have corona if they, if their mama got corona because nobody knows. Corona. But I'm talking about vaccinated birds. Not I had corona and I have a baby. I'm talking about the green yeah, stuff so they're gonna put in your arm all and right. then my child right. gonna all come right. out take glowing the, in the, the dark. Take the baby out. Then. You ain't seen anybody have no. If I didn't want to have kids, would I get it? And how much? I'd probably do a million. And the thing is, if they really wanted to, they could give Tomorrow, 60 people a million dollars and be like, we about to watch you. You got the phone calls right now. I'm it's Tomorrow, 7 a.m. I don't, this, that's hard. 400 racks. 7 no, a.m. No, not vaccine. 400 racks. Nope. Cash. Mm-mm. Uh, have to pay I'm going to think about it. <laughs> you going to think about it, Gary? You I'm gonna stay you up this, all like, night. I'm, you about to fucking yeah. research the number? Like, hold on, who yeah, who did they, who else been caught? You about to Google that shit? No, nope. that's the thing. That's the thing, bands. and I might be, and I nah. might, and I might just sound like a little broke nigga right now. Yeah, I, I, I need a million dollars. But the thing about it, is, like, if they ask me, then yeah, my number might start at ten million. It's negotiation. But I'm, I'm not doing it. My number and that bottom number might not be the same number. How y'all feel about people going back to work, like other than teachers and unemployment ending? Because some right now, some jobs are requiring people to um, be tested negative twice. So you got to go get tested twice in order to go back to work. Yeah, all of that but shit makes this, sense. It, it, this one doesn't make sense to me. My aunt was supposed to have surgery. They pushed it back because she tested the day of the surgery positive. 
everybody in the house and everybody had been around her got tested mm. negative. She went and got tested somewhere else and then it was negative. But that's what's yeah, been going see, these, on. I mean, these tests. That's mm. what's been going on because at the end, like, they didn't say it. Fuck the fucking temperature uh, gauge shit don't matter no more. Cause right. the, the fever? The yeah, the fever. So, yeah. so, it's, so it's crazy. The test is hit a miss. But, and this is my thing as far as what you asked Jazz about going back to work. I've been working at home since March. And as far as I feel, like, I can work at home forever. Like, my, if, if my company yeah, isn't missing that. a beat, if my company is not missing a beat with uh, 98% of our workforce being at home, then why would we ever take that risk again? Right. And it makes more sense for the corporation at the end of the day. Why would we be paying for rent for a building that we don't need? But then you know what's going to happen? Y'all are going to be old and forget how to communicate and social but that's be what the world, that's what socially te- te- acceptable te- man this shit just been this shit is just happening faster than we could we could ever ima- imagine technology been speeding the world up 10 times yeah, more like on for i the fucking past robot 25 years it's just been under our nose and shit that we don't know i'm just been thankful cuz the the business that i'm in don't stop you know what i'm saying at the end of the day that's what everything is about and that's what we should be looking about looking Towards, you know, what I'm saying shit that, you know, what I'm saying like it's it's gonna move, it's gonna it's gonna keep going. Whether you gotta be in the system as far as being a working man or being a hustler or be working, being able to fucking adjust your shit with how how the economy work. Because this is something that we it's uncontrollable for us. It's uncontrollable for human beings to be able to control that. You know, what I'm saying individually because at the end of the day, that shit is how. The masses is working throughout the world, and the, the people that's pushing the buttons throughout the world. We can't control that shit. We they they right. making they making decisions that don't affect us, but it affects us in the long run. But it, we still gotta adjust to the hustle. That's all we know. Ain't nothing been on our side. Like I've been asking Gary and been asking all, everybody, what fucking president that's ever been elected said I'm about to do this for a black man. That we could truly say I've been asking that shit. Like Abraham Lincoln. That, in the, the first year, <laughs> period, that's the only shit you feel like because he freed the, freed the slaves, but he owned them. But I give you that. I give you that because guess what? Ain't no man. other motherfucker said this. Is what I'm about to do for y'all that truly, you know, what I'm saying affected me. But I always well, ask in my lifetime though. I truly, but but the, I always, but then I always break it down to my lifetime though, Garrett. I know Jazz be getting drove because she yeah, she old. a youngster. She a young I, I not a young she, she don't be want to think about that type of shit, and I be feeling it because that shit be too much to think about. Like, wait, think about what? Just so, the, the, well, the politics they, and the politics and the presidencies they and shit. Like, got, man, that shit, man. They definitely got niggas that vote. voting for Trump. Ain't none of them people set well, up. In, ain't none of them Gary. people set up to help he us, my messy. nigga. He's so messy. He gave him that twelve hundred. Now Trump bought a lot of votes with that twelve hundred. Telling you that. I, and that they cheap. If and he did, they are cheap. If if I will vote twelve hundred, we still we about to be set back another five hundred more years, my nigga. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like that shit, the joke is over. You know what's scary? <laughs> we the got election season over. coming up, the presidential election, and then the corona. I'm just thinking they already had issues like at the polls in in different cities with them now closing the polls. No, hell no. I don't even... It's like all of this is not to be trusted. But at now the end... Gotta, now that's you true. Gotta go on, now you got to go online and vote. Who and they after just, the police got hacked, and Florida the just, president and, got hacked. And Florida just released the day that they just put... They just released that they about to not allow felonies to vote again. After they fucking forward... You know what I'm saying? They, they rejected that shit before. Like, yeah, we about to put this right back in place. Like, yeah, no felon is good. So it's very important that y'all get out and vote. Not voting is voting for Trump. And I'm always conflicted. Vote with your heart, man. Like, at the end of the day, I end. That's the hardest shit for me to tell a black person because don't none of them speak for us. Don't none of them speak to us. Can't none of them speak to my heart. Can't none of them people speak to my soul. At the end of the day, we can only look at the numbers. Okay, what nigga about to not make my fucking job fucking, uh, Shut down. Right. Mm-hmm. What nigga about to stop the work from coming? Mm-hmm. What nigga about to shut the oil field down from fucking fracking the earth in our country? Right. Westwood matter. That's the big picture. That's what niggas don't know. That's the real money. 
Mm-hmm. Trump the nigga that's fucking putting the earl. Yeah, we could frack our own shit. Obama, yeah, we about to get that shit from somewhere else. That's conflict. That's jobs. That's multimillionaires. That's businesses that control the world. Control rubber. People make rubber. Like people don't understand this. People make these chairs from the equipment that's coming from the under the ground. Like people mm -hmm. don't know that. But this is the world we living in. Capitalism. What you want it? How you want it though? You about to vote for the nigga that's about to shut your down, shut your job down, stop the work from coming in, e e illegal, keep fucking drugs illegal, let certain drugs be illegal. What's what you about to vote for? The nigga that's about to say he about to fucking lie to you and tell you he about to let certain people out that they ain't never did. One nigga might let a couple of niggas out that niggas might feel satisfied with. What you about to? What we working with here? I actually don't like, feel like he's mentally mentally ain't stable. nobody mentally stable, including us. Cause they're getting over and we talking about go vote for one of these motherfuckers. That's be my point. That's why I can't say nothing. Cause I don't know what to vote. tell a nigga to do. You gotta vote. You gotta vote. And at the end of the day, the bad part about it is a lot of times it's the lesser of two evils. Period. Mm -hmm. Period. And, and then you say but. I, I so mean, what's the but? I'm, How you say I mean, but? No, no. It, 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 a lot of times. Two it, evils don't up. make it. Two evils don't two equal a good. For people that look like us, a lot of times it's the lesser of two evils. For people that look like us, which is why everything that's going on right now is very big. Like the thing, like supporting black businesses and all of that. Like we really got to put ourselves in a position Gary. where we stop depending on them. Gary, that's systematic. don't have our best interests at That's all. systematic. That's, that's systematic. We we we've right. been we've been taught to not like ourselves, my nigga. We've been taught to not so, fuck with our own so people. So the only the only way to break that system is for us to break, and us to teach our kids to break it. We got a like long the way change to go. Got to start the change. We it is systematic, and it has been going on for the past four hundred years. But the only way to change it is to start change now for the next four hundred years. And guess what? We probably won't even see the change in our lifetime. Fuck no. But we have to spark the, 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 the conversation or spark the brain that might see the change. Like we gotta we, we gotta do something about it. We gotta we gotta go up to as a black people, this is my last point. Mm -hmm. We gotta go up as black people for the shit that we could truly come together and understand what's gonna truly help us and put us forward at least a little bit. We can't we, we can't get put for put forward for what's been done to us over, this, over these years. At the end of the day, we could put forward the people that's still on this earth right now, at right. the end of the day. So we gotta come to that conclusion and demand that. If a president ain't talking about fucking cash reparations right now, within the next, within the fucking four years, within they, they fucking turn, I'm, what, what you about to do that's about to stop my hustle? What you about but, to do that's about to change that me from what I'm happen. doing? That ain't about to happen. You don't Man. think that's likely? No, I don't think I don't think that's like man. It's man. been the good thing that I've been saying has been it's been talks. It's been getting brought up more and more than 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 ever than in my fucking lifetime. I know that. And this is, and this is the thing, like, and this goes back to to the, what you're talking about, how we've been brainwashed or systematically put in in a in a bad situation. The reparation is not going to be enough. Like, if we get the reparations tomorrow, and niggas still going to Of gonna course have to it ain't going to be enough, nigga. That's like, that's why I just told you. The you think that, So you said the 1200 is worth the vote? No, I don't think so. But guess what I'm saying? But that's what I'm telling you. That's a number that and you felt like, nigga felt like, oh. So if a nigga tell you, okay. It is. Uh, it's a, if it. a nigga put a number on it. Right. Now nah, you but saying still, so. that still don't fix the problem. The, my, my, my thing about the 1200 was just to say that if... That 1200 bought some votes. Niggas gonna feel like shit. I'm trying to get another 1200. Let me vote for Trump. Like that, that I mean, and that's the sad state. My thing is, but the the complaining and and like we as black people are, are a lot of us also look for that handout and then don't even do what we supposed to do with that handout. Right. We still gotta change our way of thinking and if we wanna really impact change. Like we gotta take whatever. Like you can't take that twelve hundred and, and and go buy it. some rims and, and, and go buy some. Man, some how you about to tell a nigga don't take that twelve hundred and this the first twelve hundred that he might have ever got? 
But you, that's control. That's financial literacy. Still low. And that's why, and that's why we have to educate our people more right. to teach them how to take that twelve hundred and turn it into another twelve hundred legally. That's because we didn't show them how to do it illegally. But instead, yeah, this, teach, we got to teach. We got to educate our children and the generations to come to make sure this is not the last 1200 years. And like I've right. been saying, Gary, that's us. Yeah, All of that shit falls sure. on our shoulders, my Not nigga. anybody else. Whether we right. won't fucking look you past it or right. blame whoever, that shit all depends on us, my nigga. We the ones that got to put that in even, the kids. Even with the reparations, like I'm I'm not saying we don't need them. I'm not saying don't give them to us. Because trust me, I'm going to be the first nigga in line like, yeah, where them reparations at? It ain't even but about that. It's about what, what we, we deserve. Do? What do we do after we get them? How do we use it to impact Let change? us be the judge. How do we, I how feel do we you. Use, I feel you. How do we get it? How do we get it to make a difference? So you saying that, I feel you. let them use whatever they want to use it for? Man, life is life life happens. Like at the end of the day, like I tell you, like you only as valuable as, the, as your weakest people around you. So at the end of the day, if you fucking if you got knowledge and you're not willing to share that knowledge with the the people that's closest to you, what you doing it for? So at the end of the day, it's only up to you. If you got the knowledge and you showing people what works and you got the right fucking suggestions that I can show you this is what's working, it's up to them at that point. I can't I can't make you do nothing. No, it's right. Up to but you I, at that point. I agree that it doesn't need to be something that's taught uh, universally. And like Especially said, in our, our community, financial I'm literacy. Willing, I'm always my, my bound, yeah, I'm <laughs> always willing to understand everybody got a different situation. Right. That's right. why you can't ever you can't just tell everybody what to do. Right. And I think that's the problem right now. People are stuck in like I, well I like the citizens of the United States I feel like are so absorbed in their their freedom that people are abusing it. And it's like it's your you would rather your freedom than the whole country's well being. And, yeah, I do, I and it's it's it's, like, it's just yeah. that's in the real constitution. That's written in the real constitution. What? I understand. Freedom. I understand. We can't tell. I, yeah. What to do. <laughs> but some of these motherfuckers need to be told. That's what, what I'm do. saying. Like some of y'all like, are like. And, 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 and it's there's not no. Bad. It's not bad. It's not bad to be somebody who is told what to do. From somebody who knows more, like we gotta stop looking at that as a bad thing. Like I'm all for knowledge from someone who has it that I don't have. Mm -hmm. In a situation where I don't have the knowledge, please tell me what to do. Like I would think always this: Nah, nigga can't tell me what to do. Well, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> so when are you gonna do it different? Right. And you don't Come on, Uncle Gary. Come on, Uncle. Tell right. me. I don't know how to do it different. Right. So let me tell you how to do it different. And, and the shit that I don't know how to do different, then I'm going to learn from somebody else who know how to do that different. Because I don't have all the answers either. I don't. That's but another thing. I'm, I'm going to go to somebody who know more than me. But what's, what's what we got to realize... That's frowned on in our community. What we got to realize, just human nature, the most thing that we feel, like the shit that we feel the most pretty much is change, my nigga. We get so used That's, to fucking. We get so used inevitable. to. We get so used mm -hmm. to the fucking same shit. Oh, I believe this. Oh, this is what I learned. This is what I was taught. At the end of the day, if something come back and we oh we gotta adjust to this, niggas feel like oh. oh I don't. It is, but this but change is inevitable. So right. again, again, you gotta know how are, to adapt though. Are, okay, so again, we are systematically programmed to be afraid of something that we can't help. That shit's gonna change. Right, so something out of your control. Until we figure out a way to embrace the change and as a people come together and make the change better for us, we still gonna be going in a set we still gonna be going backwards. You can't you can't be fighting something that you ain't got no control of. Shit gonna change. That's a that's a never winning battle. So what's the never fight? Win that battle. So what's the fight? The fight is first I I feel like the, the main key the main key is, is education. Like we mm -hmm. just need more knowledge. That's we we need more knowledge. We need better we need better leaders in our in our community. Like 
we even looking to like we can't we can't look towards them and I when I say them I I, I typically mean uh the white folks uh to 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 change it for us to save like, us we gotta, we gotta appoint we gotta appoint our own leaders and come up with our own plans to 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 make shit different bro because they're not gonna change it for us yeah. like like this, like this today, like you know, and and, and, and you know why we talking about this? I definitely want to say, uh, rest in peace to John Lewis. Like he was 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 somebody right, that Pete was John an advocate Lewis, for change, for real. Like he was, huh? He been out here. Mm-hmm. He been out right. here. Exactly. Civil rights, like civil I, rights days. But you know what my fear is? That kids growing up are so absorbed, and they're not getting the education like you mentioned with TikTok and. Everything right. else that they don't even know who this man but was. That's, and that's why I be putting it so much and on us. On the parents, right? It's so much well, on and us. the teachers. It's our generation. Like, it's so much on us to where that shit blatant. Like, that shit right. so blatant right. to where we don't understand. We're like, So now if it's like, even, if you don't know something so much, about your history, so I'm looking much, at your parents. It's so much that we not willing to unlearn first. Right. So we don't know what the fuck to teach the children. That's what I'm telling you. Like, that's where it starts. If mm-hmm. you don't, if the resources got the, the, the right resource got to come from somewhere. If right. it ain't coming from the teacher and it ain't coming from the fucking parent, the child have no chance. Right, right. No chance. Like it's up to them to have to grow up. Be, not even say grow up. Just be able to read. But, but they but just have again, to be on changing their situation mm-hmm. through literature. But again, right. But it's again, up to them again to find again, the information that, like that's not being fed to them. Again, we sending our kids to schools that are governed by the enemy. So how do we expect them to get the the knowledge from that? From that, like we need our own schools. We need our own shit. Yeah. We need our own communities. We really need for us by us, and not the damn fubu jerseys. And that's what I'm telling you, we Gary. We we shit. gotta be the ones to cop it, cause we the niggas. We we damn near the last people that was sent to them sent to them damn schools, nigga. It's up to us on, we choose where our children go from that point. It right. goes from generation to generation. You can only go with the, the information that you've received. But, if you went right. to a fucking systematic school and you understand the situations and how, how you don't want your child to look, don't put your child through that. It's just that I, simple. Or it's just make just sure it just make sure it comes from where it should be coming from. The house. The house. The fucking house. <laughs> All right, so... We can all agree. Start teaching y'all children. Don't wait on Miss Elizabeth in kindergarten. Period. To start teaching your kids what they need to know. And blaming everything on her. And not taking right. no kind of accountability for yeah, yourself. Yeah, for sure. Right. But at the yeah, end of the day. Take, we got to take self accountability for sure. Right. But shout out to all the teachers. Shout out, man. Y'all definitely <laughs> need a raise. And we definitely appreciate y'all. We definitely want our bad children out of the house. <laughs> we fuck with y'all. Rest in peace, y'all. Look. Now Doesn't y'all see that them lose. children really do be cutting up. Period. Oh, I see what you're saying now. Mm-hmm. I know you do. We out, man. <laughs>